There we go. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Dracula Cup number four. We're gonna continue the um, group stage casting now from group A. Uh, I mentioned, by the way, or no, I didn't mention in the last video. I'm gonna cast group stage A games, but not the other groups. Um, so, if you if you're really excited for group stage games, too bad, get wrecked. Uh, we're only gonna cast the ones from A. But right now we're gonna have A game angst versus uh, B gamer anxiety, which I <laughs> I think is a hilarious uh, username. But this is actually Shrike, so. It's going to be A Game Anx versus Shrike in Group A here. Coalition versus Soban here. I, I think definitely A Game was top seed. So uh, it would have been his faction pick and his map pick, and he's going to be playing Soban, which is pretty exciting. Don't often see this faction in the top tier, really. Uh, I play it sometimes. Um, there's a couple of kind of like fringe players who main Soban, but most players who are in the top tier stick with either Coalition or Galveston, I think. So this is pretty exciting to see. Uh, Shrike playing as the Coalition instead, I think he's gonna go for SC first based on um, the opening here. Yep, that's gonna be the case. Perfect quick drop too, by the way. Not sure how he did that. <laughs> Actually, A-game's gonna go for... Uh, no wait, sorry. I looked at B-gamer anxiety, I thought A-game was going SC first too. Yeah, no salvage corvettes in this game, unfortunately. That would really just complete the experience, wouldn't it? A game gonna be going SC first as well. Now, uh, if you watched the last cast, you saw him talking about 8-up versus 6-up. I think 6-up is better than patch, but I'm not really sure. A game gonna be going with 8-up though, so... Uh, apparently this is what he believes is going to be superior. Mr. Probicus. Heading out across the map to try and see what his opponent is doing after LEV fab starts. So, Shrike playing this build definitely correctly. Beginning to make some salvagers for his uh, second. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we need someone to do some math for this. Because, I don't know, I feel like... Uh with the salvagers costing more, I feel like eight up is not as good, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. AV Fab starts the queue now for uh, Shrike. A game not teching anything just yet. Shrike should still have the money to keep building uh, salvagers, right? He could do a little quick drop here, but yeah, he's not going to be delayed much by this at all. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, he was a little slow to keep building that, but it's probably okay. A game, meanwhile, is just now fully saturated, so Shrike's gonna be slightly behind an eco. Huh, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe 8 up is better. Probe, I think, has seen all the info he needs for now, but he's gonna have to come back in and uh, scout Railfab soon. I'm um, a little awkward that he keeps getting pinged here. A game knows exactly where that probe is, and that's, uh, that's not really what you wanna do. You can easily get this thing killed if you're not careful. Another targeting jammer getting set down here. I guess that's uh, because if you pop around this way, like you won't be able to attack his third quite as easily. Targeting jammers, of course, they are they are free in yeah. They, they it is insane. I've noticed this in vanilla too. I think it's broken, but they can ping from like here. It's just unreal. Anyway, targeting jammers are free in patch, so you can send them in whenever you want. Oh no, Shrike. He thought he was trying to get away from the LAVs here, but this is actually even worse, I think. I think you're going to get hit harder by the LAVs if you do that. Because he's kind of getting caught in here now. Probe does get killed by A-game, though, so that's nice for him. A-game had scouted AV Fab quite a bit earlier, though. Production upgrade is done, and A-game is going to start right ahead with railguns, so Shrike needs to see this pretty much now. Just as well, he has the probe coming, he's going to see the tech. So he knows about it here. If I'm Shrike, I think I tech air and then start making a bunch of LAVs or something, but I'm not sure. At any rate, though, he has, like, no military on the field at all at the moment, so... I'm a, li I'm a little worried for him. I feel like this could go pretty badly pretty fast. Probe is gonna die now, but he, he saw the uh, important info, which is that rail, f um, rail fab module. And it is gonna be fighting gunship. Okay, that's good. And he's making LAVs. Good. Yeah, I think this is the right choice. 
If he can hold three bases, he actually would be kind of like winning here, right? I don't know if that's going to be possible, but if, if he can do it. But two base plays from Saban are really scary. Building salvages though, I don't think he needs that. He's he's got to find a way to deal with these rails, and he just he hasn't been building any units. He's got like one AV on the field here. He saw the tech, he saw the units coming out. I mean I feel like he ought to know. This is not gonna be good here. Uh oh. Rut row. <laughs> Fighter and gunship is done though, so I think here uh, he's gonna kill the strike fighters. I think a gunship is way better actually. But the anterior turret post is set down immediately, so a game knows what's going on there. Get it back up toward the support cruiser again. His opponent is not on three base. I mean, he can kind of you know, he can kind of maintain this if he can just be on two base. But power one is teched as well. That, that won't do too much, but he can put the power into armor. That would definitely help him here. But I think he needs a gunship. If you ask me. Does he have the money for it? He should. Yeah, he definitely does. Yes, they do. You know, it actually really bothers me that the, uh... The Savon Carrier fires, like, coalition railguns with, like, the sound. This is like... Doo. It's like, no, man, I want to hear this freaking Savon rail, you know, go crazy. Strike fighters are out, but they're getting over microed, I think. They're not really hitting anything. Ooh, no. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Whoa, that guy. <laughs> that's okay. That's one thing I love about this game is watching air units after they've been killed. They just go like flying across the field. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> yeah, no, a gunship would have been way better here, because it's much more... It has armor, so it's not going to die to the LAVs like that, and it's a lot more capable of surviving the AA post. Um, and not only do you do damage to these Soban rails, which only have one armor, so they're pretty squishy, but it's going to do tons of damage to the strike fighter, er, to the strike craft as well. A little too late for that, though, so Shrike going to start spamming uh, LAVs, get their upgrades out, that's what he needs. I think if he's going to stay in this game, that's definitely the key uh, the key for him now. Well, if you zoom in on them, they don't really. Oh, uh, they... Actually, they kind of do. Jeez. Well, why would he use Mark Target here, Roby? I'm, I'm confused. Anyway, I will say this though: projectiles breaking the sound barrier only makes noise really when the when you're like near it. So like here, it would make a noise when it passed by me, like you know. Could have killed a worker, maybe. I mean, if you turn on Mark Target, you only do one damage per shot. <laughs> You'd have to set the other ones in on that position as well, which I don't think he was really interested in. Like, going for workers is kind of his not not a very high priority here. LABs get the jump up here, and they're going to do good damage, but he has lost the, uh... He's lost the Strikecraft superiority, which is going to hurt him here. So the LABs are still able to get a lot of kills here, but they need to back away, I think. Get back to the base runner, which can do some anti-air for them. Well, you know, that being said, he's going to he's gonna get kills here. This is kind of okay. Yeah, no, I mean, he's got armor 2, I think, so... Or damage... damage 1, damage... Uh, armor 1, it looks like. Yeah, I will I will say, this was a good time for Mark Target. But. So that was a really good move by Shrike there. Now he should be immediately moving back out onto his third base. Because he needs to start getting his eco expansion up, right? But he's not moving out just yet.
He's got some strike fighters too, but it's gonna be hard to use them. There's so many anti-air turret posts out. I don't think he needs that. I think the LAVs were good for him. He ought to just keep making that until his opponent can come up with a proper counter for it. Uh, and A-game has built a gunship already. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, <laughs> you know, it's still. Um, this is not bad for Shrike. He is moving up onto his third base now. That's good. I mean, yes, but actually no. <laughs> Mark Target doesn't do that much of a difference to Strikecraft. It's just like, I learned recently it, it can't stack. And so it only does like 26% more damage. And accuracy, too. So like, it, it makes a difference, but it's not that big of a difference, I don't think. But Shrike is up on 3 base now, so he's gotten this game into a much more handleable position. Well, yeah, of course for the other units, that's the whole idea of Mark Target. Or do you mean for the other railguns? He didn't really have enough of them there. Here comes the gunship, though. So Shrike really needs to launch air now and try to kill off that gunship as fast as he can. There's Mark Target, by the way, Roby. Ah, uh, it's it's too late. They just got melted. That's really that's really unfortunate here. The anterior turret posts are in the in the hood too. So, I mean, he still would have lost that fight. That's no question. Mark Target is like it's handy, but it's not nearly that good. You know what I mean? But this is definitely going a game's way. I would say. Missile battery fab gonna get tech, but yeah, Shrike knows it's just th there's not really any any game-winning lines from this position, so he goes ahead and ends the game. But they sh oh yeah, because uh, Savon rails aren't good enough, right? <laughs> yeah, the air seemed to be like over microed or something. It was weird. It caused it to not really do any damage. But I agree. Like he had a really good choice there with um. He made a really good choice to you know go for the LAVs, and he managed to push you off there. I think, in my opinion, his problem is just that from the very beginning he he scouted the uh, the rail tech. He knew it was going to be kind of like a two base play, but he didn't build any units. So yeah, you know what, Roby? That's what I'm always saying about Shrike. I wanted to practice more. I wanted to have that mindset that like, yeah, I'm losing now, but I could be winning later. But I think, unfortunately, he's kind of getting broken. It's it's really sad to see. Game 2 going to be on Kartoba. This one is going to be Shrike's pick, but the factions are the same, it looks like. So Shrike spawning here down in the south. Um, definitely has it to do, I suppose. I mean, it's not like this is a bracket, like he'll be eliminated or something, but... Uh, I wonder if he mixes up his strategy this time, though, or if he goes for the same thing. A game, I think, is doing the same. It's gonna be eight up from him. Shrike there, meanwhile, going for LAV Fab first. So he's gonna mix it up a little bit. I'd love to see him move this base runner out then, if that's the case. Oh no! Tell me he's not. Oh no. He he better not be doing uh, LAV first into SC first. That's like one of these builds that I'm I'm always mad when I see. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. I can't get over his username, by the way, still. It's just hilarious. SC is on the way now for A-game. Shrike has LV Fab done, so he should start building those. But yeah, he's gonna go into carrier production. Okay, so it's gonna be an LAV game from Shrike. So that's definitely uh, mixing it up a little bit here. I think he's hitting a little too late, like he ought to not get the production upgrade until he's got like excess money for it and just start building LAVs immediately, but... Or at all. Oh no, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> they're, on, they're on the queue now. Um, but A-game is Sobon, right? So he has actually a weakness to this. He can't sit down a turret to defend. He can get uh, AAVs, but that's the only thing he can do really. Probe here going to be in some jeopardy, and this is not revealing the play from Shrike either, because um, Shrike might have just moved his base from around out, but the probe is going to get around it. 
Base Burner not really being terribly proactive. I would have sent him down, see if you can stop him in some way. Um, you shouldn't chase the LEDs though. These guys I think need to just get into the field. Otherwise you'll just you'll lose too much time. AB Fab has already started for A game, so you know the window is closing before it's even really Uh yes, it definitely is. But the win the window is closing right now, so <laughs> Oh my gosh, two HP. You meant it. Hey, I think he, he can't chase this probe. He's gotta just get in there and do damage. And he should have been up here um, with the base runner already, I think, setting down a turret. Because that is gonna open up a hard point for the AEVs to... It flew right up the... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But that's gonna open up um, a hard point for the AEV... Yeah, wow. ALM warning radius is still crazy. It's gonna open up a hard point for the AEVs to uh, be repulsed from. So I think he needs to set down this turret right now. I, I would just do it right where he is. Oh gosh, the longer you wait. The AVs are already on the field, man. You gotta go. And these guys are, they should be up there with the turret as well. Oh gosh, Shrike, just set down the turret. You, you gotta cancel whatever you're building. This is like top priority. Put it down, put it down. Ah! What is, oh! oh, I'm getting so nervous now. It's too late. He's gonna he's gonna lose it to the AV. I think. Oh gosh, mm, this doesn't feel good. Okay, okay, he's fine. Oh my goodness, strike! <laughs> Giving me a conniption. Railfab coming out from A game now. <laughs> um, fighter and gunship. I think maybe would actually be kind of it'd be interesting for. Uh, for Shrike to get, but I think he really needs to go for Railfab here, because that's going to be what this fight comes down to. He's got a really good... Oh, wow, that is a long deploy range. you got to just kill this thing now, I think. Don't move into it. Yeah, just kill it. Okay, it's gone. Focus down the LEVs. Focus down the LEVs. Oh, he's LEVs. oh you can't really kill this thing. Oh. 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 I don't, I don't know about that. That seems like a mistake to me. Like, if you focus down the LEDs there, then the AV might survive, but, like, at least you get some damage in for it. And then you can already set down another turret, right? You have the ability from the base runner. But here, it's kind of too late. Yeah, and Shrike's gonna see it. He surrenders at that point. Darn, man. Like, this time, he had a really big... He had a really big fight going. Like, I think he actually could have won. Um... There's some kind of bad decision making in the moment, you know what I mean? Which is hard to overcome, like it's really... It's really difficult when the fight's actually happening to make the right choice, but... I mean, if anyone can tell you that, it's me. I think he had this though, you know? He should have set down the turret a little bit faster there, because that was really close. The save you could almost have just killed it right on its own. And then get a second turret as fast as you can, try to move it to like here, get it a little closer each time, you know? And then tech rails, and I think he actually could have won this game. Well, it's a darn shame, my boy. Darn shame. But that is going to be the series 2-0 for A-Game 8. And I think I will do some more casting tomorrow, but... As for, as for now, I think that'll be the end for me, so... Catch you guys later, hmm?